the beach all to ourselves this morning. Just wants to say hi. Not quite the right one. Scottish weather for you. Welcome to the NC500. Good morning from the Marie Curie Cancer Field of Hope. We've just woke up and got ready. This is our view this morning. Sorry, it's very, very, very windy up here. But we can see the sea. We're just carrying on along the north coast at the minute. And then we'll be heading all the way along the east today. Very, very busy day. We've got a lot of miles to cover. Just waiting for our final checks to be made and to set off. It is currently 7.39. We wanted to set off at half seven, so we're not doing bad. I am just reading a bit of my Kindle before we head off. across our first hurdle our sat navs are all telling us to take this road and it says unsuitable for camper vans and we're not going to risk it so we're just going to keep going try and find an alternative route stops along this journey because look at the views the sheep are green <laughs> there's a rainbow there we are really pushed for time but we just keep stopping <laughs> because look at it it's incredible everywhere you look all the way along the road it's absolutely immense got a bit of rain now but it'll probably clear more chance of rainbows
Max made a friend. He's a good boy. Not quite just, the right place. He just wants to say hi. Not quite the right one. Come on. Come no. on. <laughs> oh my god, oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. <laughs> There's the beach. It's just started throwing it down. Typical. We're going to try and see if the zip line's on, but the weather is not looking great, so don't know whether it will be. We were also going to go for a little paddle, but we might wait because we've got another beach today and hope that the weather clears up a bit. So you can camp overnight here. This was our original plan, but we just didn't make it in time last night. But there are no toilets or any facilities here. The nearest toilets are 2.2 miles away. Ooh, we're hoping the zip line's on, but we're just not sure with this rain. But it goes from there all the way across the beach to there. Heading up the beach. It's a lovely beach. Shoes are coming off. beach all to ourselves this morning there's no footprints on it get here early you will have it to yourself I don't think the, I think the rain helps but it's eased off now Is it warm? <laughs> no, still as cold. It looks like a nice place to swim though. Yeah. The sand's so soft, I'm sinking. The sun's creeping in, out of that storm cloud. <laughs> the sun's out. <laughs> the sun's out, yeah. Do you have a torch? I've got 19 torches. Do you have any? They all are. In the van. Mark? Hello. I'm passing the baton. <laughs> Ooh, creatures. On the wall. What? There's creatures on the wall. <laughs> creatures! Creatures! Man's Give climbing the tunnel! Climbing the tunnel! There's a map. We're officially at the end. Like here. I'm at the end. You're at the end? Yeah. Let's go. Look at this with the sun shining on. It's amazing. Come back out of the cave. <laughs> well, like a crab. I am I'm crabbing out there. So, <laughs> 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 That's how you tell how old the country is. You count the number of the Roman layer. rock layers. <laughs> Teaching you stuff here. <laughs> Some cool rocks. It's gorgeous when that sun comes out. I mean, it's gorgeous anyway, but. Ah. 
So zip line isn't open. The sun is now out but it has been windy and raining so they've obviously decided not to open. There is a Facebook page though which updates every morning about whether it is actually open which is very useful if you've got signal which is very spotty on this coast um, but it's good if you're heading this way so that you can make plans they do po post I think they put a post at about 20 past 9 this morning saying that they weren't opening at quarter past 10 so it does give you a bit of notice Taking a turn. Showmore Beach. Mark's there with his frisbee, determined to have fun in the rain. <laughs> there is quite a bit of parking and there are toilets that are open between April and October. And it's just a short walk along here and then down to the beach. Got the buckets. Mm -hmm. ah, so cute. It looks a bit rough, doesn't it? It is. It comes higher than you think it does. Yeah, I probably won't go in this. Made it to the beach! It is stunning here. There's nobody here. There's a couple of dog walkers over there, but otherwise we've got the whole thing to ourselves. The rain's finally stopped. We did wait in the camper van for a little bit because it started absolutely bouncing it down. So we've waited a little bit and come onto the beach. Spectacular. Don't think I'm going to go in the sea just because it's looking very rough and don't want to risk it. So probably give it a miss. really cool rocks here which do provide a little bit of shelter from the wind and there are also sand dunes all the way across there which are great to uh, go and explore and have a walk over uh, but also again they do offer a little bit of respite from the wind but look at these cliffs all the way down here it's such a stunning beach it's right on the tip on the northwest coast and most people know of Sandwood Bay which we've been to and was incredible we loved it there but this beach is just down the road from there and you can park right at the bottom whereas Sandwood Bay you do have to walk for quite a while to get to the beach so it's a great alternative if you can't walk or you don't want to walk that far or you haven't got that much time in your itinerary it's still just as nice it's, it's amazing Get any sandcastle ready for beach wars.
in a little B and B just over there. Uh, the best breakfast ever. Just a quick stop, stretch the legs and look at this view. So we made it to Willapool for tea. We went to the seafood shack and had really nice haddock wraps. And then we're just wandering around the town and having a bit of a meander, walking along the harbour, looking at the boats, going in some of the shops. And then we will head back off for our campsite for the night. It's a really pleasant place. They do have a few boat trips from this area. And you can get a wildlife boat tour from here as well. Found anything good? Oh, cute.
We've just arrived at our campsite in Shieldegg. I'm going to show you more in the morning because it is about to go dark and everybody will be settling down. But we've just driven over from Ullapool on the A832 and the A896. Absolutely insane roads. They were spectacular. We saw so many deers, stags, so much wildlife. And it, it was like driving in a whole other world. Amazing. I think it was my favourite road I've ever driven on. <laughs> But we're just going to settle down for the night now and then see you in the morning. I'll give you a sneak peek of Shield Egg and our view from our van. But I'll show you that tomorrow. Now I'm going to bed. Bye. <laughs> Good morning from a very rainy shielding. We've just got up, got showered. Didn't think there was any point drying my hair because it is raining and planned to rain all day. But we've just come out for a walk up the peninsula and back. It should be about five and a half K. And it's a good way to see the area. So just having a wonder. So to start the walk, you go through the green gates next to the school and then follow the signs for the walk. I will link the old trails below as well. It's already so pretty. It's a nice little bench. Now we're about to be run over by the tractor. It's a good bench. I'll do a quick. I'm running, running up the bench. Oh, it is wet, but I'll perch. Oh, it's a really good bench. Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> the views go all the way from there. You're rating on your bench. I like it. <laughs> it's got to be a good solid eight. Oh yeah, at least eight and a half. But you do have to climb a bit to get up it, and then it's not the most. It's not that. You just said it's not that bad, and then nearly fell down. Well, I've got one knee. very helpful sign giving us two directions to go. We have the smooth path and a very rocky path. My knee has <laughs> Mark's knee has said don't you dare go that way. You will go the flat way. <laughs> behind us 360 views so many views Covering 
all of those hills. Yeah, there's white eagles here at the minute. Just nesting off the coast. What is it? A white tailed eagle. White tailed eagle. But we haven't seen any. Apparently they're flying about though, so we'll keep an eye out. But I think with the weather being this bad, visibility's not great. It's hard to see. going to stick to the main path. One because of Mark's knee, two because of time. So we've still got a bit to do today and we need to leave the campsite by 12. It's very muddy in this section. You okay? Yeah. Oh my god, how am I gonna get across here? Maybe up over the top. Thank you. So this bit does get a bit narrow and woody. So just make sure that you're wearing proper shoes. Walking up this way views though from up here. Amazing. It's a bit of a scramble but there is a chain to help you go up. Deep down here. All right. <laughs> Can't see a thing now. Scottish weather for you. Not even just Scottish, just the whole of the United Kingdom really. Just embrace it! So we've put the pop-up up, even though nobody's staying in there, for the first time and what an absolute game changer in this van. I can stand up. <laughs> I don't know, that's... I think if we were ever looking to buy one of these, which if anybody has bought one, please give us recommendations on what to buy because we have fallen in love with this van this week. I think we'd have to have this because it's great. It is great.
I'm going to end this vlog here as we've just finished the NT500 and are now heading onto Sky, which will be in a separate vlog. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see the rest of our adventures. Bye.